Hello and welcome to our free webinar. Welcome aboard. This webinar is about the cabin crew interview. But before we start, we need to figure out if this webinar is for you. Baka naligaw ka lang. <laughs> Maybe this is not really for you. So we have to ask ourselves, ask yourself first, are you one of these? Are you a student or a fresh graduate interested in the cabin crew career? Or are you currently employed but looking into changing your career into a cabin crew one? Are you an aspiring aviation enthusiast who wants to enter the aviation world through being a cabin crew first? And then maybe later on becoming a pilot or something else. Are you an international candidate looking or having the goal of becoming an international flight attendant? Are you a reapplicant? Did you try before, but now you are determined to improve and succeed in subsequent applications? If you are any of one of these five types of people, then welcome aboard. You are in the right place. But first, let me introduce myself to you guys. Who am I and why am I speaking here about cabin crew applications? So my name is Katrina Ruth Ramos Maklang. You can call me Ruth. That's my nickname. I'm originally from Cebu City. My first time to apply is way back in 27, uh, 2007. I was only 19 years old at the time, so we can calculate my <laughs> age by now. And it was for Qatar Airways. I was just told by my cousin that go to this hotel. They have a screening for cabin crew. I have no idea at all on what's going to happen. What is a cabin crew? Or what is a flight attendant role? I just know they're all pretty and I'm pretty. Maybe I should go there. <laughs> <laughs> something like that but actually it was just a joke but then I went and I was blown away by the experience I loved it and I loved looking at the different handsome boys and girls available during that time and I was amazed because with my ugly picture here this is my only picture that is a full body picture because it's one of the requirements <laughs> and I have this uh, modeling picture here and I was invited in the second day who would have thought I'm not even wearing the proper attire during this time but then it was just an afterthought because after the second day, I didn't get hired. So I continued with my studies and I finally graduated in 2009 as a license, as a nurse, took the board exam and I become a licensed nurse. It was so hard to get a job as a nurse during this time. This, this is the peak of nurses in the Philippines. So I decided to be practical and earn money. I started to start working in a call center. And then I realized during my call center days, the monotony of the job, maybe this time I didn't know I have ADHD at the time. Um, I cannot keep up with the the, the office politics, the swinging shifts, and doing the same thing day in and day out. I just felt dead inside. And I just felt that deep inside me, this job is not for me. It's not fulfilling me, though, yeah, it's giving me money. But it's like, if I become, uh, my, my salary at the time is around twenty to 30000 But if you become an international flight attendant, it will be six figures if you are going international. So I said, why not go for it? I'm still young. I'm still not having a family. And uh, I think I have a potential. I'm so lucky because I live in Cebu City that the Qatar Airways recruitment always happens there every three months. They never miss a recruitment day in my city. So I was so lucky to be able to be given the opportunity to apply. So there's the reality hit during that time. I was not really happy. So I started applying and applying and applying. And I started manifesting. This was my Dilulu era. I would copy paste my picture. This is the time of Photoshop <laughs> to places that I really wanted in my heart of hearts. I feel like I'm supposed to be, I'm meant to be there. So I will go and do this and I will look at this in my tablet during that time. And I just have fun with it. That's what I did. Then finally, in 2011, I got hired in Airfield Express. This is a local area. We have small airplanes and we go to local flights. It was such a good experience for me, like a stepping stone during that time. And then Airfield Express got acquired by Pal Express. We are the sister company of Philippine Airlines. Philippine Airlines is the flight carrier of Philippines and they go international flights. But in my company, Pal Express, we don't do international flights. But we have the same uniform. We have pretty good salary. I can't complain. <laughs> I really wanted to go international because that was my Dilulu thing, right? I really want to go see the Eiffel Tower, visit my family abroad. So I still am trying to reach my highest potential as cabin crew. For me, the highest potential for me is being an international flight attendant. Um, for me, if I'm going to be a, a flight attendant or cabin crew, I want to be the real flight attendant that goes international places. I'm not satisfied with just being a local uh, flight attendant. No offense to our local flight attendants, but we all know that all jobs are just stepping stones, right? So that was my position back then. So even though it was so hard to apply because you have to be facing all these elements. As you can see in the picture here, a flight attendant recruitment in the Philippines can easily attract thousands and thousands of people. We will not fit in the hotel anymore back when it was in my small town city of Cebu. Now they will hire in Manila and they attract thousands, even 2,000 applicants that you have to line up, up to the outside of the hotel, to the busy streets of Manila, to the face the elements of heat, rain, other applicants that by the time that you have to enter the recruitment, you're not fresh anymore. <laughs> it's that how tough the competition is to get the international flight attendant job position. But despite all that, despite all the rejections, I finally got hired with Oman Air. And my dream has come true. I was able to become a real flight attendant, going to real layovers, going to different places uh, around the world. And I enjoyed it. I loved it. It's the best times of my life. And I can say that uh, looking at the different places, it's like a dream come true. There is no feeling that could describe it. It's like your highest potential has been achieved. And uh, for me, 
it's just living in a daydream or something, but it's real. <laughs> That's how uh, happy I was. But I'm happiest when I'm visiting my family, when uh, family who lives far away from us here in the Philippines. So that's the happiest trip of all the trips that I have ever gone through. Um, can't compare with anything else because the people that I love, being able to spend time with them, it's priceless. I also love animals. So I've been going to safaris, uh, zoos, and yeah, I'm an animal lover. So I always do that as well. And uh, one of the things that I've gained as a flight attendant is lifelong friends. We're still friends up till this moment. And the people that you will meet in this industry, they're the best type of people because you're all pretty. You are not insecure. <laughs> you're always hyping each other up. Uh, it's just the best, well-adjusted people that you would meet in your lifetime. And so I started my blog giving tips and sharing my experiences during the hiring season because this has been my obsession at the time. And then I got many questions on my blog. It's hard to type one by one the answer. So I started making videos answering the, an the questions. And then it ballooned into this YouTube channel. <laughs> by 2017, 10 years after I started applying, I retired my rings because another dream of mine is to have a family because I came from a really troubled and broken family. It's my ultimate dream to start my own family. So I started publishing my book because all the tips that I have collected throughout those years that I am blogging and I am answering questions from my readers, they all are pushing me, pressuring me even, to write a book about it so they can just have a compact, uh, detailed step-by-step -step process how to be like me, like how to overcome the different challenges and obstacles of being uh, applying for the position and finally getting there. So I did. And when the time that I have I have launched my uh, online or one-on-one -on -one coaching because they're not satisfied with the book, they really want me to talk to them and practice them during their um, inter before their interview. So I started offering my Skype, uh, Skype during that time, <laughs> my Skype uh, services. And then I finally launched my online course. It was before the era of digital products. I'm already uh, launching my online course and I am offering it to international students all over the world. And here are some of the testimonials of the students who have learned from me and have become flight attendants themselves. All right. So we are now in the workshop part. I have already introduced myself. You know that this is a uh, webinar is for you. And that is my story. Thank you for listening to it. And daming sinabi ni ate. Now let's get into the webinar part. So how do you actually become successful in your cabin crew uh, interview? I'm going to workshop with you the different ways of doing it. The part one of this webinar is all about understanding the interview. Okay? You can take all the courses in the world, but if you don't pass the interview, nothing. <laughs> it will not matter. So we are going to focus on that. We are going to focus on passing the interview. All right. So first, we need to understand what the interview is all about how, so that we will know how to pass it. Right. First, we should know the purpose of the interview. I do create I did create my own score sheet so that you will be able to figure out which part you are in the different types of interview and the elements of a winning answer. So let's start. The main purpose of the interview itself is finding the right fit on top of the basic flight attendant characteristics of different airlines that they are. They do have their own preferences. This is what I mean. There is here you can see on the first circle, you will see that skills and character, attitude and personality. Those are the things that they are looking for, right? Okay, so this is it. And then this is the basic, the basic skills, attitude, personality of a flight attendant. But then we have the airline preference. As you can see here at the yellow circle, each airline will have their own favorite, okay? Favorite type of skill, favorite type of uh, personality, all right? And then what we have to do is have both of them, okay? Maybe this airline have a preference for a circle type of preference and this airline has a square um, preference. So if you are yourself is a circle or a square, then you don't fit. It's not an insult to you that it's not like you're not worthy or something, you just didn't fit. Maybe for example, you're a square and you're trying to apply for this circle airline, keep on applying, keep on applying, but it just doesn't fit. So now maybe you need to apply for this airline that has the same uh, shape that as you are, right? Okay, okay. To illustrate my point, Air Asia versus PAL, if you will see here, Air Asia is the kind of airline that is modern, they're young, they're new, they're a low-cost airline, they're fun, they're non-traditional, they're game for anything, they have games, they have dances during their flights, all these gimmicks, right? So they need a cabin crew that will fit the personality of their airline's preference. On the other hand, as you can see here, we have PAL or Philippine Airlines, our flight carrier in the Philippines, which is more traditional, prim and proper, very Filipino, very heart of the Filipino. So as you can see, it's both airlines, but they have their own preferences. Both airlines require the basics, the basic that you need for a cabin crew. Warm and friendly personality, communication skills, teamwork, people skills, customer service, flexible, and a professional attitude. So what you will do is align yourself to their branding. <laughs> align yourself, okay? Airlines of vision and mission and values and branding shows them, it just embod it shows them how you embody not just the basic requirements of a cabin crew, but you have to align with them, with their culture, with what they are representing as an airline. So then you will have a good fit. 
personality, attitude, and character. The airline is trying to project their company image and branding through you. Yes, that's right. You are the representative because you are the cabin crew. Okay, so how do we do that? We can do that by using keywords on our resume. When we apply to them, when they open up, we have to align with them. Okay, we have to align with their preferences. So it's, for example, Etihad, their tagline is exceed customer expectations. So incorporate their tagline in your resume, in your answers, in your attitude when you are during in the interview. Okay, in your stories, uh, you should prepare stories of you exceeding their expectation. Emirates, they are more positive attitude, confidence, things like that. Qatar Airways, uh, world of class. Okay, that's their tagline. They're hospitable, they're caring, they're warm. For the Filipino, Philippine airline, the spirit, they have a spirit of magaling, maaasahan, maalaga, magalang, malambing. So you have to align yourself with that. Okay? So how to find the airline-specific values or preferences? Check out their website. Check out their web Facebook page. Check out their careers page or about us page. They will explicitly put it there. What's their tagline? What do they care about? Okay? So here. I do have an interview score sheet. I think you can download it on my freebies. So in this interview score sheet, I am... Uh, because when you apply for the flight attendant position, nobody's going to tell you that you lacked here, you, like, you, you didn't get the job because of this specific thing. So I created my own score sheet if I were the airline and how would I grade the applicants. So these are the different tiny details that I would score you in. If you give me a handshake, is it a firm handshake or it's a limp one? If you give an introduction during the impact interview, is it a good introduction or you use a lot of arms? Do you have good eye, eye contact? Do you smile? Do you have good posture? Your level of preparedness. How is it? So this is how I would score you. I think it's important that you, as the applicant, know this so that you know how you are being scored. It's like going to play a game, but you don't know the rules. You don't know the scoring, how you get the score. Then how will you win if you don't know how to get the score, <laughs> right? So for me, I'm laying it out to you in this interview score sheet so that you understand how the interview goes. And usually this is how they judge you at, okay? And this is just the second part of that interview score sheet. And it's not showing, <laughs> but... However, it's just a list of different tiny details that you have to score good in. You can either score poor, fair, good, and excellent, and then they will tally that up, and that's how they would determine if you're in or out, okay? All right. All right, so there are different parts of the interview or types of interview during the interview process. Usually, it takes three days for the whole process to happen, but nowadays, there are different airlines that just cuts off the process because of the number, the number, sheer number of applicants, guys. So many people want to have a selfie with Eiffel Tower, so, so many applicants. So they have to, but in the essence... At the essence, this is how they evaluate you. The first one is physical inspection. This is very typical of PAL. Like they will have to see your hands, your elbows, your knees, show it to the recruiter. And then there's an orientation. And then there's an English and math test. And then there's an impact interview for those who passed. And then there's a group interview. They put you in a group setting. And then there's final interview. So these are what you have to be prepared for. It's like playing the game again. Now you know the rules. And then also now you need to know what are, uh, how many how many parts of the game is there? A first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, parts of the game. Like for example, in basketball. So you need to know how to score and then you should know that there are different, you know, quarters during the game. All right? All right. The physical inspection, they will test uh, you usually by non-verbal cues. They would usually give you an insult and how you react to it is how they judge you, which is you don't know at all if you are a beginner applicant for cabin crew, right? Because that is not something that we usually talk about. So how do you react when you are pointed out your flaws? Do you smile? Do you frown? Or do you feel insulted and triggered? <laughs> orientation. During this orientation, what they really do is test you test you, tell you this is just an orientation, but actually they put um, little mind traps for you to pass. <laughs> like, do you listen and pay attention? Do you follow instructions? Like minute details. English and math test. This is a skill-based test, so you just really have to pass it. Uh, time pressured so that they can observe the candidate's ability to handle stress. And then there is the testing your communication skills. Uh, first impressions uh, during the impact interview. Uh, firm handshake, eye contact, smile, posture, preparedness, speaking and listening skills. This is what they assess during the impact interview. Usually it's just a five-minute call, a five-minute introduction, just to see how much impact you will give me. Are you somebody that would catch my eye through your posture and smile? <laughs> or are you somebody that really doesn't have an impact? Because they really need that for cabin crews. Then once they know that you have an impact, and once they know... Once they know that you have an impact and once they know that you can catch and hold attention, they will now check if you can now work with a group. So this is what the group interview is all about. The purpose of group interview is testing your people's skills, testing how you work with others because day in, day out, you will be in a teamwork setting as a cabin crew. It's a teamwork work, all right? So you need to be a good asset to the team. Opa bigat ka ba sa team? Are you a burden or an asset? So you need to be able to communicate with others collaborate with others, work with others, okay? Some pitfalls here is you will try to outshine the others, but during this, like I said, there are different parts of the interview. 
during this part, you're not supposed to outshine. <laughs> you're not supposed to stand out. You're supposed to be part of the team. So during this interview, most of the things that you need to do is include others. An example is, for example, they give you an activity. That is what usually is going to happen. Let's say, as a group, make an itinerary for a visitor visiting the Philippines. Okay, so as a group, they will observe you for two minutes only. For two minutes, come up with places to visit, come up with things to do for your visitor. So as a group, you need to be communicating like this. Uh, what do you think, Sarah? I think we need to ping them to Cebu. And then if they ask you, yes, I agree. How about you, Marie? What do you think? You should be talking like that. A bad example is, I think we should bring our guests here, here, and here. And I also think I'm going to take over the planning. <laughs> and this is, this is, no, no, no. Don't talk. Let me talk. Okay. I, I have to be, I'm the one who lives in Cebu. And uh, I'm the person. <laughs> you should follow me. I, I'm going to be the leader here. Okay. So that's the wrong attitude. You will fail the group interview phase if you show up with that type of attitude. Okay. Once you pass the group interview phase, there's the final interview, the one-on-one -on -one interview. This is now that they have determined you have an impact. You can work with the team. Let's see if she's the right character for the job. So they will ask you open-ended questions. You will test, by doing this, they test your communication skills, your personality, your attitude, your character overall, your behavioral questions will be asked of you. So how do you answer this? For this, there is so much pressure. So here, you have to use the technique that we call STAR method, wherein you organize your thoughts, wherein it's easy for the interviewer to understand your answer to the open-ended question so star method goes like this start with a yeah these are part of the winning answer okay hold on star method is s stands for situation describe the situation t stands for task describe the different tasks that needs to be done or the goals and then a stands for action specifically describe the action that you did uh, for the situation and for the task and r is the resolution the resolution should always be a good resolution should always be a good ending in the end we learned a good lesson in the end we solved the problem in the end we were able to overcome the situation so things like that now, another part of understanding the interview is you should know what are the elements of a winning answer. Worthy enough to win <laughs> the Miss Universe just like Miss Catriona, right? So first of all, sentence construction. You should be able to answer the question with the rele relevant answer. Have you seen those Miss Universe questions where the answer is like so far away from the question? It always have to hit the mark. Then... It should have good grammar. It should convey a clear idea. That's why we use the STAR method. It should be connected to the flight attendant job. Shows your personal experience. Direct to the point. Use pleasing adjectives or keywords. And end it with a wow statement by the end of the answer. That's just one part of it. You thought that's all? <laughs> Actually not. Because there's still the part where the delivery must be smooth and sincere. It should be practiced but not sound practiced. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then there's the body language. The eye contact, smile, and posture. That's my mantra. And then it should be not too long. 30 to 1 minute. Remember, those beauty pageants, they have a timer. And then the bell will ding <laughs> after such time. It's the same as a flight attendant. As a former beauty pageant goer myself, <laughs> It is a very, like, it's very, I'm very passionate about this, about coming up with the right answers for your cabin crew interview. So here we go. All right. So one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. So this is usually what I do with my coaching sessions. We help them formulate the answer and practice the interview. Resources to create answers is, I have listed down the different qualities of a flight attendant, the different adjectives adjectives that you could use and the wow statement samples it was it's all in my i think it's all in my flight attendant courses it's all there and on my free stuff it should be there as well so let's review the main role of a flight attendant is to be the one who stewards the different people 
right? Primary job is to keep the passengers safe and ensure that everyone follows security regulations. The secondary role is the comfort and enjoyment of the passenger. That's where we give them food, we help them with their luggages, and all of that stuff. Flight attendant roles and responsibilities. You can just easily Google this, but these are the different terms that you should be utilizing on your interview. So use these terms and your answers, like I said, in your resume, in your cover letters, and all of that. But then you should understand the whole scope of role. First, safety, and then comfort. That's the main thing that you should know. These are the different keywords. You can write it down. You can screenshot it. But use these keywords and your resume will light up like fireworks. All right. And here are the qualities that they prefer. So like I said, there's the general thing and then there's the airline's preference. You should ref research which airline you're applying for. What are their preference? They will put it in their job ad. They will put it in their advertisement. They will put it in their uh, post looking for a cabin crew. We are looking for this type of people and use those exact words in your application. Keyword and active adjectives in general. So these are the ones that is usually fit for this um, career objective. Okay. And sample of wow statements are lastly, I have believed and practiced the value of hard work. Something that will wow, you know, the recruiters. Finally, I am a true believer of excellence. I believe that anything worth doing is doing well. It should be rooted in your own belief. So when you deliver it, we deliver it with feelings, right? <laughs> Given the chance, I would prove myself through my dedication and hard work. This is the best wow statement for fresh graduates. Okay. So now we're going to workshop how to create a high impact answer. Okay. First, you should have a short introduction if possible, really short. Then say your points. Focus on two main points, whatever question that is. And then end it with a wow statement. And all of this should be less than two minutes long. Do you get it? For example, the question is, tell me about yourself. Have a short introduction. Your two main points is, I'm passionate about service, customer service. I love working in a team environment. And then your wow statement. Let's do this. Okay, this is an example. Tell me about yourself is the question. Make sure that it has the elements of a winning answer. Answer the question with relevance, good grammar, convey a clear idea, connected to the flight attendant job, all your answers should be connected, and show your personal experience, should be direct to the point, use pleasing adjectives, and use wow statement by the end of your answer. So for example, this is the question, the answer would go like this. Short intro, part would be pleasant day to you my name is ruth i'm 25 from cebu city currently working as a call center agent for converges short and sweet introduction very informative showing that you are a call center agent and you have cost that means you have customer service um, experience and then two main points i am passionate about customer service in my current job as a call center agent i love it i feeling i love the feeling when i can help somebody solve their problems and make my customers happy i love being part of a dynamic team back in my school days i am an active swim team member and i help fun with the fundraising activities i think it's cool that people can work together to achieve the same goal and lastly i'm an achiever and i believe that anything worth doing is worth doing well as you can see here, I have red colored, red colored words, passionate, dynamic. Those are the pleasing adjectives. And the blue one represent the main point. It's just that main point and a little bit description, a little bit of a description, like two sentences of the main point, another main point the blue one, and then a little bit of description of the main point, the black one. Okay, you got that? So that's how you, that, that's the element of a winning answer. You could just interject your own experience in this format, but this is how you structure it so that it 
sounds good and so that it's effective okay why should we hire you okay it can apply to different types of question focus on the position that it is a perfect fit for you connect the job and roles of flight attendant with the current qualities that you have or experience that you have and focus on what you can bring to the table remember a job interview is a transactional in a transactional thing you have to show them what you can bring to the table okay so yeah industry experience experience and performing certain tasks or duties those are the things that you may interject in here technical skills soft skills key accomplishments awards accolades education and training those are the things ideas on what you can use as your main points here all right why we should hire you another type of question that's commonly asked what's your biggest weaknesses you could just focus on main points and wall statements even if you don't need to give an introduction anymore so here have you ever get lost in your own story this is the star method that i was talking about earlier so again let's just review star method means s cite an example t tell a story from your own experience and o open-ended questions uh the different types of questions that would require a star method answer are cite an example tell a story from your own experience open-ended questions behavioral questions and usually these are the final interview questions so star method s stands for situation t stands for task a stands for action and r stands for results okay so here an example, share a biggest challenge that you have experienced in your current job and how you have overcome it. Share the situation, share the task, and share the actions. And then the results. Another type of question will be like, share a personal story where you have embodied the heart of the Filipino. Mm. <laughs> <Di ba bonga? laughs> so answer this again with the elements of the winning, um, winning answers. And yeah and then uh just formulate your answer in this way through this structure it's like a salaan or it's like um a drain a drain it's like something that you could put your flow into it and if you got the right flow you know how you should do this and that through my system then the result will be a good answer for the question <laughs> and therefore a good answer will increase your chances of getting the job as a flight attendant and therefore making your dreams come true and therefore making my mission on earth a reality to help people make their dreams come true so yeah just like what happened to me so that was what i'm doing all around social media and that's why i'm i have a social presence and all about this personal brand but using this practical structured techniques that is proven effective you get what i mean <laughs> okay so for the star method i already gave an example of that earlier so you don't really have to do that right now if you really want to be seriously guided you really wanted to start your flight attendant career journey it's not an overnight thing <laughs> so there are a lot of um there are a lot of resources online there are free research you can do online you could just google search and see uh, what free content and free going on your own can do for you but what i can offer you i have an exclusive offer for you and this offer is only for you if one you want to be part of my exclusive community where i conduct free live weekly webinars a check-in call that's what i call it and trainings and two this offer is for you if you want to have an access to cabin crew specific resources curated the most effective the most proven and streamlined information to accelerate your progress like i said you could just research online there's a lot of information out there but if you want to save your time and start right away and really work on execution this is my offer for you 
And also, if this offer is for you, if you are willing to invest time and exert effort. Because like I said, it's not an overnight thing. I took eight years. But hopefully, with the techniques that I'm going to hand into you to save your time, it will not take you eight years to your dream job. So this is my offer for you. I offer an exclusive coaching bundle. So in this coaching bundle, I am going to coach you one-on-one. We're going to practice answering the different interview questions. That's the best um, technique that I have found so far with my students. When we practice, we record everything and then they can see themselves that where they have made a mistake. As that's a problem when you're applying on your own, nobody's there to mirror you, to show you you have done this or that. Nobody can notice it more than just an exact recording of how you you know practice answering the question okay and then this also comes with a lot of freebies it comes with a free ebook free weekly check-in or group call free access to the community free access to the group chat free screen recordings of the session free audiobook collection because i i also believe in holistically developing yourself not just in career, spirituality, financially, things like that. I have a lot of, I love books and I have, I love audiobooks. I'm giving my collection for you for free. And that consists of 38 uh, books, I think. 38 best title, best selling audiobooks in the realm of finances, self development, and all of that. Because this is a holistic endeavor, um, you have to show up with your character in the interview so we're building that character through our coaching bundle okay through our audiobook collection access your assignments <laughs> okay we're building it free webinar uh stand out fly high i have another webinar like this more um on the specifics of standing out among the crowd and i do have free checklist interview scoring sheets sample answers and the structures for different types of interview questions that we are going to Handle. So one session of this, my usual rate is 2,500. One session is one hour. One hour of mirroring you, practicing the interview, and you doing the action and me doing the uh, correction. And then applying it, applying it again and again like a muscle, muscle memory for answering questions. All right. But if you do four sessions, it's a bundle. It's 10,000 pesos, right? What I usually do if you get four sessions i will get one for free for ten thousand pesos so you get five sessions all in all as a bundle so this is my usual rate but my offer for you for you who are here in the webinar right now is you get all the four sessions for only four thousand nine hundred ninety nine plus all the freebies that is if you are in this webinar only <laughs> because if you look at my website it will show you ten thousand for the coaching bundle so different steps to go about this is so easy. To get a coaching with me, first step one, send proof of payment to my IG. You can pay through Gcash, Maya, Bank Transfer, PayPal, Rocket PH. So many ways now to pay. Not like before, 10 years ago, 2018, when I started this business. So hard. <laughs> and then step two is DM me your time, your date, your email address that we will use for our Zoom meeting or Google Meet, okay? And then step three is get your email invite from me and then you can either use your phone or your laptop for our sessions. So easy. My second offer for you guys is my second bundle. It's called the self-study bundle. But it's self-study, but you will save time from all the research. I've already laid it down for you. My eighth step proven system to be a flight attendant it's on my book now available in audio book and now i also have a resume template how to create your resume specific for the cabin crew application this is what is here on this editable resume templates here and then i have my flight attendant school materials so i have gone through two different flight attendant training from different airlines the very basic core i have noticed what they are teaching us the very basic ones i have all the materials and at the same time just to 
first step is to get familiar with the aviation world and the next step is how to enter the aviation world it's nice to know that you know about the different terminologies the alpha charlie bravo of a flight attendant world but at the same time it's very much more ito yung beef ko sa mga flight attendant schools before. It's much more important that you pass the interview. It's not important that you can name the different parts of the aircraft. It's nice that you're familiar with it. But 80% of my FA school material focuses on answering flight attendant interview questions. Answering and passing the different stages of interview. So that's what my FA school materials is all about. So that's why it's a blueprint to success. Not just... A flight attendant school. Okay, you my beef now. My hugot. <laughs> That's my beef before. That's why I didn't want to start a flight attendant school even though so many people are asking me to because for me, it's more important that you pass the interview. <laughs> okay, that's the point. Okay, so I also have online courses on this self-study bundle. The Sky Ready Introductory Online Course for Flight Attendants. Um, that is what I'm talking about. The very basic knowledge that you need to know as a flight attendant. I also have flight attendant school box, toolbox, okay, more about the preparations, the checklist that you need to cover when you're applying as a flight attendant. And this is an online course currently being offered in Think Thinkrific. I think I have a different platform for that, but their total worth, all of these is 6,000 pesos. But because you are in this webinar and you are, hmm, you are listening up to this moment, you're very good. So now I'm going to offer you this study bundle for only 1999 for webinar attendees only. If you want to avail both of the offers, the coaching bundle and the self-study bundle, it will cost 5,998 pesos. But since you're very good and you reach up to this part of the webinar, I have an exclusive offer for you. For these two bundles, the coaching and self-study bundle, I now call it the cabin crew bundle because it's the best of both worlds. You have a specific targeted personalized online coaching with me and at the same time, you can self-study at your own place, at your own convenience, at your own obsession. <laughs> you can improve yourself by studying the self-study bundle. The two of them combined, it's a great way to accelerate your cabin crew journey. I hope that it will make you become a cabin crew much faster than I ever did and than anyone ever did. So for this cabin crew bundle, I am offering it for you for only 2,255 pesos. You can avail of the both bundles. It's like 50% off of the coaching bundle already. So it's 50% of that plus you have a bonus of the self-study bundle. Okay. So, you don't pay 5998 You only pay the promo price of 2255 if you enroll now. Ora mismo. If you enroll today before the timer stops here in my website, that's the only time that you can avail of this promo. Okay, so again, you can screenshot my details. This is my Gcash. This is my Maya. Message me on Instagram with your proof of payment and schedule at Miss K. Chris, and I will give you your confirmation within 24 hours. Okay. If you feel naman that if you feel that this is too much for you, 2,255 is out of your budget, don't worry. I have other starting options for you because you can watch all the webinars in the world. You can read all the books about being a flight attendant. But if you don't start, you don't make an action, a small commitment of your part, the role will not be rolling. <laughs> it will not start the journey. If you want to start your journey, at least, at least avail of my book. Because my 8th province system is there already. It's a best-selling book. I've been selling it in Shopee since 2018. And I have a lot of international clients who just become a flight attendant just with the book itself. And they just self-studied and applied the lessons on their own. Without guidance from me, it's truly effective. I can really vouch for my own product. <laughs> I can vouch for myself because first became it really first became effective for me myself to become a flight attendant so yeah i also have you can also get the different parts of the bundle one by one if you don't uh, want to buy the full package 
like the FA school materials, my online course. But if you want best value, of course, the Cabin Crew Bundle is the best. But one by one, you can also order them. You can check out my website, this website for that, or I have my Paglaom website, I have my social media, I have my Linky PH, everything will be linked there. Okay, so there we go. That is the different starting options that you can go. And again, if you will avail of the cabin crew bundle, I do have exclusive bonuses for you for webinar attendees only. I have a free webinar, Stand Out Fly High. It's one of the best webinars that helped as well to focus on how to stand out with the many other applicants during the hiring process and also self-improvement bundle these are a bundle of 38 audiobooks of the best titles in the world because i believe in the holistic development of a human being <laughs> and this has helped me it's good that it's an audiobook form because you can do it while you're cleaning the house while you're doing something else before going to sleep so it doesn't really take some time or effort for you to try to improve yourself it could be done in the background Okay, while you're washing the dishes and all of that. So these are books from Robert Kiyosaki, Malcolm Gladwell, 48 Laws of Power, Master Nako, that's very important. The 48 Laws of Power is all about human nature. Also the 4-Hour Work Week, E-Myth, Power of Now. This is spiritual books, this is financial books, this is self-development books. So exclusive bonus just for you if you avail of the Cabin Crew Bundle today right now here and now on this webinar again even if you don't uh, avail of any of the offers that i'm giving you right now it's okay i hope that the information itself during this webinar you can start from them apply it to your application process apply how to answer the questions during your interview and i am guaranteeing you it's gonna improve your application game it's going to improve your confidence and you're going to believe that dreams come true just like me. <laughs> That's my ultimate goal. And yeah, I hope that this helped you out. And thank you for your time, for reaching the end of the webinar. The time that you invested here, I'm sure it's going to come back to you. Thanks so much for listening, even if you don't avail of any of the bundles. And if you do avail, do send me a screenshot and I will fly with you soon. Bye!